Okay, well we're going to look at polynomial division now and to start us off I'm going to reintroduce division with whole numbers and in this case I'm going to look at 47 divided by 3 now most of you will not have been taught how to do long division at school it would most likely have been either short division or the chunking method or something similar or bus stop method as short division is the same thing okay so I will show you long division with this okay just to start us off much like the bus stop method the 47 goes under the bus stop okay and the 3 is going to go on the outside now the way this works is I go okay well how many 3's can I get into 4 well I can get 1 then. and now I do 1 times 3 okay and I bring down a 0 so it's much like 1 times 30 almost okay so I've now got 47 and 30 and I take one away from the other 7 take away 0 is 7 4 take away 3 is 1 and now I go right okay well how many 3's can I get into 17 and I think well I can get 5 3's into 17 and I go 5 times 3 is 15 and now I take 15 away from 17 and I get 2 so my answer to 47 divided by 3 is 15 remainder 2 okay or 15 and 2 thirds okay the 2 and the 3 now I'm going to show you now polynomial division which works in much the same method it looks more complicated straight off okay but don't be put off by that we've got x cubed take away x squared plus x plus 15 under the bus stop and I'm going to divide that by x plus 2 okay so first of all what you do is you go how many x's could I get x cubed well I can get x squared in okay because x times x squared is x cubed and now I multiply through by x squared I go x squared times x is x cubed and x squared times positive 2 is plus 2x squared okay draw a line underneath and now I take one away from the other much like I did before x cubed take away x cubed is 0 and now I've got minus x squared take away 2x squared which is minus 3x squared okay I now bring down the next term in my list plus x okay it just helps with setting up and now I think right okay well how many x's could I now get into minus 3x squared well I can get minus 3x because x times minus 3x is minus 3x squared okay and now I multiply through by minus 3x minus 3x times x is the minus 3x cubed 3x squared sorry and I've got minus 3x times 2 which is minus 6x draw a line underneath minus 3x squared take away minus 3x squared is 0 x take away minus 6x is plus 7x ok and I bring the 15 down for convenience sake now I go right how many x's can I get into 7x well I can get 7 in then I multiply through by 7 so 7 times x is 7x and 7 times 2 is 14 7x take away 7x is 0 and 5 take away 15 take away 14 is 1 okay so when I divide x cubed take away x squared plus x plus 15 by x plus 2 I get x squared take away 3x plus 7 remainder 1 
Okay, this number here that is left is your remainder. So you could also write that as um, x squared minus 3x plus 7 plus 1 over x plus 2. That would be exactly the same thing.